Hi, and welcome to my life deep in the dark of Central Texas. And yes, the stars at night are big and bright when there's no cloud cover. Oh well. But we want some cool nights right now. The blue bonnets are starting to bloom, and blue bonnets are gorgeous. I could see really thin scrapings of blue all along the tollway on the way here. And that means over the next week or so, they will get intense. They will be so many. And there will be bunches of them everywhere. When it gets really dry, they don't do as well. And when it gets hot too early, that's when they uh, start to die back. One year I had a single one growing in my yard. And another time I had seen some up the road from the Kung Fu and Tai Chi school. But I was going around my vehicle. I don't remember what I was doing. But uh, I found a single blue bonnet growing next to the valve box where the water valve is at. But there's going to be a lot. And with any luck, they will still be around Fredericksburg when Loki and I head out on that vacation. Now they're just a lovely little flower, so I'm sure that out in the wild parts where we will be, there will be plenty of things eating them. Cattle eat them, sheep eat them. I'm sure deer and anything else that wants a tender, small plant will eat them. Texans go out of our way to make sure these things live. We can buy a $10 package of seed and sprinkle it on a patch of graveyard or on the berm out by the road or just whatever. We like them. We will buy them potted and let them go to seed and the seed spread everywhere. They're just beautiful. If you like a flower, I mean, I posted that picture of a little tiny bee on a little dandelion blossom. But if, if there's something you like, do something for it. And if you like the things that need a little help, maybe they're endangered, maybe they're nearly wiped out because they pretty much only come up in places where construction is happening get involved in plant rescue there are enough trees that people don't realize that there are trees being mowed in yards every year there are rare flowers that if you're careful you can take a chunk of the ground that you're going to fill in a hole with and you can take the chunk of ground that matches it with that plant sticking up out of the middle of it put it into the hole you just created put the dirt you removed from the first hole into the hole that you got your plant out of you can learn what's endangered or nearly wiped out in your area and figure out how to save things that are maybe endangered or just spot them and then tell these people who do plant rescue, hey, there's a whatever growing here. It sounds a little bit weird of a hobby, but you know, if it gets the work done, that's great. And, uh, Plants are good. Headlights, yay. Uh, 
I stuck with my class pretty good today. We did the spinny bar at last, so. I didn't get dizzy before I got to do other things. Getting dizzy kind of ruins class for me. I always feel like I'm going to fall over on somebody. I haven't. But if it gets down to it, I'm kind of glad the floor has thick padding on it. But now it is 7.45 and I'm going to take my happy self home. <sighs> Y'all take care and if you like going out to take pictures where there's blue bonnets, be careful. They get exactly tall enough to conceal snakes. And it's springtime, so don't just plunk your kid down. You know, you just poke around with a stick or something and see if anything takes a strike at your stick. That's kind of important. Oh, the baby will be so cute getting a picture with this brand new dress and little bonnet and we'll just stick her right in the middle of those flowers over there. No, please be cautious. There's other babies out right now. Snakes, scorpions, bees, wasps, hornets. And I don't condone just randomly dumping poison in your yard because that might kill your dog or your cat or your kid. Or it might kill a whole bunch of bugs that your favorite birds will eat. That's something that happens. And then the local bobcats or lynxes might eat those poisoned birds. Or the birds just might not have enough judgment to stay away from wind farms. Wind farms have killed a lot of birds. But, uh, you do what you can. Take care of yourself. Make Grandma proud. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye.